first night of Hanukkah delivered light unto nations. And a little bit of light can go a long way. So we're, we're spreading the light. And the light is not only about the physical light, it's also about the light of understanding. A delegation from Africa, the U.S., and Europe powered their way through a day-long tour of Israel's renewable energy industry in the Negev Desert. Ending with a sunset tour of a small-scale, self-sustaining African village on Kibbutz Keturah in the Arava Valley. You can see the two-layered roof when the smoke can come out and the air can come out. Dozens got a first-hand look at Israel's solar and environmental tech that could bring light to 600 million people who are off the electrical grid in sub-Saharan Africa. We bring lights that can also charge phone, have batteries inside, and it's, although it uh, looks small, um, it's, it's pretty bright. So you need a lot of number of panels to really pump enough water for phone. What do you think so far of your trip? Uh, it is beautiful. It's a very beautiful country, very receptive, and uh, very, very serious developments at the local level. James Angwai is the governor of a rural region of Kenya with one and a half million people living in only 500 square miles. In my own country and in Kisi County in particular, the number of people that are off grid, almost about 90 percent. Yeah, I would want to see my people on the grid because that's what brings development. The tour started at first light with picturesque views of the desert where an oasis of sorts has sprung up in the form of two innovative power plants in Ashalim. At 82 stories high, this radiant thermal solar tower is the tallest in the world. And next door is the newly completed parabolic station, which introduces a much needed energy storage solution using molten salt. In the morning, when we have more radiation, we are using the HDF to warm up the molten salt and to go from the cold tank to the hot tank. When the hot tank is full, that means you are charged. And then you make steam and then you make electricity. This renewable energy solution will electrify 60,000 local homes without using fossil fuel. We are following Ben Gurion's uh, vision to make life in the Negev, provide uh, work for the people that live here, and uh, also, I think, take care of the environmental. The Arava Valley is a desolate yet picturesque region that runs 100 miles south of the Dead Sea. It ends up at the mouth of the Red Sea, where Elat is. It runs along the border of Israel and Jordan, Jordan being on the other side of this valley. In biblical times, it was known to be a center of copper production. But in modern times, it is a center of using solar energy to power the entire area. And this gigantic solar field, nestled in the middle of pristine sand dunes, is the first of its kind in the Middle East. The solar revolution yeah. was begun here by mm -hmm. my partners and I. Yeah. Uh, we have a 5 megawatt solar field over there. Yes. A 40 megawatt uh, over there. 40 which, megawatt. I know, it's probably your whole county, right? Oh. Visionary and pioneer Joseph Abramowitz of Gigawatt Global is confident the success of delivering light from the sun to the Eilat Elot region will ignite a solar and economic revolution in the entire developing world. The combination of all of us coming together, kol echad hu or katan, each one of us is a little light, but when we are together we are or etan, we are a mighty light. Shehechianu vekiyamanu vehigiyanu lazman ha In the Eilat Elot region of Israel. Amen. Emily Francis, Amen. I-24 News. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know.